Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sleepy Druid, and welcome to my opinion, basically, on Warbringer Sylvanas. I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but I just wanted, after I saw this, I needed some time to first finish the essay I was writing, second, uh, calm down, okay? Overthink stuff, think over it, think about deleting my account. No, of course not. But that said, I was very disappointed about Warbringer Sylvanas, and I think all people were. <laughs> so, not about the video. The video was great as ever. The video was very well done. But what people were disappointed were mostly two things. First, the Horde is evil. Second, um, why does nobody react to it? Talk about Sawfang, Bane, etc. Well, I think even though while recording this the old soldier cinematic is out and I will do a video on that right after this one actually, um, I think this is bad storytelling. Why? Okay. Um, it is. I think it is bad storytelling because it's not everything in game. As far as I know, the the physical collector's edition will have a booklet where there are, where um, some where where basically pages describing um, this war of the thorns that was happening the last well two weeks. Um, and what I think about this is put it in game, Blizzard. There's no need to have this essential information because as f what I've read from it, what I've seen or heard from Noble or a friend of mine posted uh, some snippets uh, on the Discord server, what I heard from it, wa uh, read from it, wa was typically Sylvanas. This was scheming, calculating, cold, etc. Which brings me to the next point. Sylvanas uh, people st people were surprised that Sylvanas burned the tree. To be honest, at first, here, roughly, where Sylvanas says, prepare to march on the tree, I was like, thank god it's not her. And later on, where she's like, kneeling down in front of the night elf, down there, says, I remember a fool. Actually, very nice shot there. I remember a fool. I was like, okay, that's bad. That probably means it was her. Then we see the whole Arthas thing, and then the Night Elf says you can't kill Hope. Here. You declared life your enemy, etc. And this is where I was like, fuck. Yeah, shouldn't have said that, should you? Captain. Your captain, my captain. And of course, then Sylvanas proceeds to burn the tree. People said this was out of character. I didn't think this was out of character per se. I think Sylvanas would have been, um, yeah, more calculating. Let's call it more calculating because here she shouts at Nathanos after uh, she said burn it and no one does anything, no one reacts because it's like, wait what, this wasn't the plan, as she later admits. And then he she shouts at Nathanos, burn it. Sorry for clipping the mic there for a second. And what happens is they burn the tree. And first, this scene is very uncharacteristic for Sylvanas, losing the cool like that. This is what I thought. Actually, let me take a sip. For my nice tea. So, this is what I thought was, and many th said that, uh, this is very uncharacter uncharacteristic for Sylvanas. Not burning the tree, but being hurt by some random uh, night elf, basically. And when I was cooling down, I actually thought, wait, no, this is typical for Sylvanas. She reacts emotional, well, mostly with anger and hate. She is cold and calculating, but there is one thing that drives her nuts, and this is her past. Where, from what do I know this? Well, in TBC, in the Ghostlands, there is a questline in the Windrunner Spire, 
which can drop from the enemies there. And you get a locket. You bring this locket into, um, what was it called? Tranquillin. And from there on you get the, uh, the, the quest to go to the Undercity and bring this locket to Sylvanas. This is her locket. For those of you who don't know, each of the Windrunner sisters, Verisa, Illyria and Sylvanas, has one specific locket. With, I think it's blue for Sylvanas, I think it's red for Illyria and green for Verisa, but I'm not sure. Might be um, in reverse, so red for Verisa and the other one for um, Illyria. So. And what, what does Sylvanas do? Uh, if you have read the quest text, if I recall correctly, I read it the first time I did this back in TBC. So, she gets emotional and starts to cry and sing. Okay, you might say, that's not lighting a tree on fire. I mean, there's a difference between getting emotional and weeping and basically turning every living citizen in, in Darnassus into a shish kebab. Okay. Given. That's not burning at Telraso. But then there is this one scene in War Crimes where there is this side plot of Sylvanas trying to get Verisa into the Undercity to her because her, her beloved Ronan is dead, etc. etc. Read the book if you want to know the de more details about it. And what does happen in the end? Spoilers. In the end, Verisa declines with. I think it's a letter, and l puts her locket into that letter. And what happens after that, um, and I remember that this happened, this is why I think this character moment is in totally in character. This is not character breaking whatsoever. Sylvanas goes apeshit. If I recall correctly, she rides on her horse from the Undercity through Silverpine into Hillsbred. Okay? And kills everything that's not a Forsaken. Like bears and animals and stuff. She goes on a rampage. So, I think you can get under Sylvanas' skin, but it takes... Where is the picture? There is a picture. It takes a lot. And challenging her, even though you are dying, maybe one thing, I don't know, uh, as far as I don't know, this is okay. Maybe this happened before. I mean, someone challenging her on the deathbed, and she did nothing. So this is why I think this is actually in character. This shout at Thanos, this burn it um, moment that many many people, as far as I got it, were disappointed with that. What I was mostly disappointed with is that again, War Chief labels the Horde as bad. Okay, it would have been something different if, for example, Nathanos goes overboard and accidentally or not sets the tree on fire. Or whoever. Or if Sylvanas wouldn't be war chief. What I have an issue with, and this is why I think it is another reason for bad writing, apart from not everything being in the game, is and everything concerning the story, of course, is the fact that it is again a war chief, and this is why many people, myself included, draw the parallels to Garrosh Hellscream. But we will see how this unfolds. To be honest, um, the... what is called Old Soldier Cinematic restored my, like, Horde pride. I'll be honest. I do that. Uh, not I do that, it did that. So, I will end it here. So let me know in the comments what you think, what you... Um, then again, I haven't analyzed everything because everyone has done that. It's just my thoughts on it. So, what do you think? What do you think? Uh, is this in character? Is this not in character? Yes, no, maybe so. Why? I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Sleepy Druid, and good night.